Hello guys, Rainbow Runner is back for another episode of Rail Fanning once again. Here we are at Val Vista Drive next to the Santan Generating Station. Um, and an outbound train is on its way right now. Um, yeah, so, and I also heard that there will be an inbound pretty soon. So I'll, I might stick around for that. But yeah, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to real fast just cross the tracks um, to the other side, um, to, to the south side of the tracks. But real fast, as you can see, there's the red signal um, at Warner. And it was actually flashing yellow not too long ago, kind of like the signal out at, um, at Elliott. Um, Yeah, um, pardon me, sorry. Um, yeah, so, guess we get a good shot of the train right there. Um, um, and actually, if you look at the cross, look at the tracks themselves, um, real fast, you see that, um, that, um, bit of asphalt right there. I think that used to be like a metal thing a while back, um, don't know what that's called, but um, it was. I remember that when I firmed my first rail fanning here at Val Vista, um, almost four years ago, exactly. Um, yeah. So, and actually, I remember my. It was episode seven. Um, the first, my first rail fanning here at Val Vista. Um, it was the first rail fanning I filmed after I graduated high school. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Um. But yeah, just, it's cool how I remember some of these things and just have a bit of continuity. Um, and yeah, I guess they also replaced the railroad tracks not too long after that, um, or the ties at least. Um, okay, not wanting to get too close, but I think the train's coming up to Lindsay Road right now. Okay, I can hear the train horn. Um, all right, um, I'll zoom in again, just, oh wait, Warner's crossing gates are activating right now, so I'm going to step backwards, huh, walking backwards, kind of funny, but yeah, so I can give you a nice shot of Car's gonna run through the crossing.
sorry about that. Um, there's a little bit, there's kind of some dust blowing, which kind of blowing right in my direction. Um, I think the slipstream from the train was also causing the crossing gates to wobble a little bit. Um, to shake back and forth. But anyways, the end of the train is right here, so... Wow, whoever owns that house that I just, um, must have a lot of vehicles parked, or I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I was just wanting to get a shot at the gates rising. Um, yeah, I wonder who owns that house, because there's lots of, like, you know, trucks and other things parked over here. I guess, I don't know if they have to use that frequently when they need to repair stuff on the tracks or whatever, but... Yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I guess it is kind of a little bit windy and maybe a little bit dusty as well, but yeah, um, red signal right there, um, I guess, of course, to the southeast is where Ray Road is. I can see the top of the fence is at Top Golf. Oh yeah, I guess there's also a billboard right there, so. I seriously gotta wonder what the owners of that house thinks, like how much they'd have to put up with, um, you know, people that have to do stuff around there. Okay, I think the gates at Ray Road are rising and they've turned off them. Um, yeah, um, and according to Arizona Rail Fanner, there should be an inbound train coming pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I'll probably stick around for that. Oh, and there's also at the car wash a wacky, wavy, inflatable arm flailing tube man. <laughs> All right, well, I think that will wrap up this episode of Rail Fanning. If, if there's going to be an inbound coming, I guess I'll stick around for that and I'll... Probably see you guys then. Rainbow Runner heading out.